Boom! Let's be honest podcast, modest podcast, modest podcast, never the saddest podcast. And today we have the, are you still the first lady? Always, I'll never oh, retire. The first lady of dance. Today I have the angel in the place, you know what I'm saying? And I'm so! Mm -hmm. That's the intro I was looking for. That's, that's <laughs> it, that is it. And people, I always remember, thanks for the support, thanks for the love. You know, they are the angel I get to learn more about the angel because, you know, my fans, them, them probably don't know how the impact we did have, you know. Still have it. So, so we're gonna, we're gonna remind them though, for mm -hmm. who don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the angel, me know your story, but me not think them know. So how did you get into music? I started out music from childhood in my community, mm -hmm. Spanish town, big up Spanish town, born and raised. And I've, I've done school tours currently recently, so the people them know me, you understand? Mm -hmm. So that is that. But I started out doing uh, music in my community, in church, in school, all these things. It's a God gift talent. And I, I rise to fame now when I moved to Kingston, because you know so Kingston the thing is when you deal with music. Yeah. I came to Kingston as a model anyway. I never came to Kingston to seek music at all. You know, I came as a model. So you said model, you talk like seeing Pulse. Yeah. That kind okay. of thing. I entered Miss Jamaica Fashion Model Pageant and I came fifth. So that kind of vibe, you know, I did. Um, New York Fashion Week and the whole works. I love modeling, that's my first love. But music, um, I was introduced to music um, with a group first, um, LOY Crew with Tony Kelly, a well-known producer. Mm -hmm. And um, we were doing some work with them, but subsequently, everybody branched off and I did. A, I just merged out on a solo career. And my first hit song, Don't Tone Girl Living in the Uptown Life, mm -hmm. Living Uptown, everybody know that song there. Don't, I'm just a Don't Tone Girl Living in the Uptown Life, me independent, I'm a one man wife. A song that come like, no woman no cry, Bob Marley. Mm -hmm. So I would have just born, you know about Bob Marley. You know, you so they just born, you're going to know about Angie yeah. and Don't Tone Girl. So that has definitely put my foot in a music, mm -hmm. Don't Tone Girl. And the rest of history, but they're the same way. No, man, you have more for saying than I'm saying. I'll still get to that. But so, you about like schooling? I'm going to talk. I'm going to ask. What about schooling? What you schooling? Got to oh, my goodness. Um, Spanish town. I did. I did. Um, I went to Macaulay's primary. Then every, everything at Spanish Town, I went to Macaulay's primary, then I went to Spanish Town secondary. Mm -hmm. um, right there and then I got a scholarship to go to St. Catherine High, netball scholarship. Mm -hmm. I used to play for Jamaica under 19 team. So I'm tall for nothing. I'm tall for nothing. Not for have ambition and pursue your dreams. So I went to St. Catherine High School and I graduated. After that, I wanted to do business. Mm -hmm. me, me, I always want to be a businesswoman, have my own business and be, a, be my own boss, which I am, I wish I did. So you have to speak what you want in your life and claim it. Manifest so, it. Manifest it. So I went to Dove's Business College and I got an associate degree there in business. So right there and then I, I, I opened up a boutique called Angels. That, that was in um, Princeville Plaza. Yeah, Constant Spring. Mm -hmm. So I sell male and female clothing. Um, but when the music started up for me, I had to choose because I mean, I became a mother and then the music and everything, so I had to choose. So I had to shut down the store because I can't do it everywhere, even though I'm, I'm an angel. So, so why could not delegate? I try, but it gets it get sticky. Mm -hmm. It gets sticky because I, I, have to, I have to be spending more time with my son and I can't be in the store at the same time. And a lot, a lot was happening. Them teeth made them rob me, they bring me down. Um, a lot of things was happening in the store and I just, I just couldn't keep up. So I said, no, I'm a lucky dog. I'm a lucky dog and just move on to something else. So. The angel, because I can tell you when I get introduced to you. Obviously, I'm not in primary school at uh, that, uh, that time. I look the same age. Me no and you. No look at people. You look me. young, you know. But there's nobody with that. Look. People. Uh, <laughs> we look the same age. <laughs> right. They look, they, 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 if they see me out of me out of road, they never say I'm a son. They never say, I'm no, an angel man that. You, you know what I'm saying? All right. Yeah, start something, you know? No, no, I'm not. I'm yeah, not. Start I'm something. not. I'm just saying, you know, y'all not age. Angels don't age. That's true. Right? And but you're over 18. Yeah, I'm over oh, So well, let me don't talk anyway. Yeah, I mean, you see, you like, you know. Me like what? Different channels. No, like, talk man. to me. That's a toxic talk. Me like talk. what? That's a toxic talk. I'm music. But I'm with me. So, oh, I'm music. You know about me. <laughs> so, talk, you know so, about me. When you, when you forward out now, obviously, me know you're true that song there, Downtown. Living Uptown. Yeah. Right? People call it Downtown Girl, but the name of the song is actually Living Uptown. So when you're oh, trying okay. to find it, it's Living Uptown. But them call it Downtown Girl, and I work with it. Mm -hmm. So that you, you being a model and going into entertainment, how your parents, how did they gravitate to that? All right, in my community, in my school, they knew that I, music is in my blood because my father can sing, my, other, my father's side of the family can sing. So I don't make up in a studio. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I actually, I am a record. When you hear me in a studio, you, you see me up on stage. You understand? And I auto-tune me, I auto-tune. 
I don't buy a shop, I'm authentic and real. So it's a talent and a dream that, I, that they knew I was going to pursue. So modeling, I did it in my community too. And it was, I entered modeling competitions in my community. So it's like me, me the born for do this, you know? So be a big, big star. Big star there. You understand? Yeah, so them, them, them did accept but I know that, so you're a star? Yeah, okay. yeah, from a little, from a little. So it wasn't, I saw, wasn't something that I just came out of the blue and said, me I'll do this today, you know? Mm -hmm. So it, it was a transition. So when I came to Kingston and I started my, my, my modeling it, with Michael Modeling Agency, they actually scouted me one day when I was coming from school. Dove's Business College, Michael Barnett. And um, I was like, wow. So I started with Miguel Modern Agency. I entered Mr. Maker Fashion Model Project, that's with Paul's. And I came fifth. And um, why I came fifth is because I'm not signed to Paul's. I was, I'm coming from another agency. And once you're coming from another agency, then now I'm gonna make you win. Because mm -hmm. I made it for win. I never win, but I got best legs. Once you, got, you get best legs in any, any competition, basically you're gonna win. So when we get best legs, Mr. Surya, me, I go win. But it's very competitive. And that's where I learned how to be competitive up to the day. So it wasn't no surprise to my family. It's just a transition mm -hmm. and a growth and just basking in my greatness and the direction of, of a barn figure. So my family supported me in everything I do. Who did you put out that June there, um, living uptown? Danny Champagne, me, Soul Rest in Peace, Champagne mm -hmm. Records. Yeah. yeah. You ever feel like you're, you're, you're pretty privileged help you? No. Really? Mm -mm. I can't tell you why. You know, help me one bit. When I started out in music, um, they say, oh, next brown girl, pretty fierce, whatever, who cares? Mm. I had to prove myself, you know, and I started out with that song. I'm just a downtown girl living an uptown life. Me independent, I'm a one man wife. Show me crime, me not be loud enough for them backbite. At the, at the time, I, was, I wasn't, I was learning, you know, and I was very shy. Mm -hmm. To even perform in, a, in front of a big stage because I used to do it in my community. So, them used to me. When you're a community artist, I feel safer. So, when I step out of my community now and coming on the big stage, that's where I had to step into my own, you know, mm -hmm. started doing rehearsals. Um, big up Delhi Ranks, he helped me along the way in terms of buying a cam car. That's why, as artists, you have to be able to take constructive criticisms. You understand? When somebody can constructive critic, crit, criticize you, as an artist, you have to be able to accept that if you want longevity from somebody that was there before you. So Deli Rangs tell me, buy a cam card, record yourself, practice and all that. And I did, I did just that. You know, so when I entered my first show, Follow the Arrow, um, with, um, I don't remember the promoter, I was nervous as a wreck. I was actually my first show performing in front of how much people. I'm like, oh God, how oh, they going to receive me? But Don't Tone Girl was already number one. Mm -hmm. You know, so I started out with how I feel in my heart. I mean, I start out with nothing where, 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 where I, I put a young woman and skid out front and sit on fire so I just saw nothing because that's, that don't represent me. Do, so, you, do people believe that you were a downtown girl? No. Okay. But when I talk, them know me, I, like, me tell, like I'll talk and I say I'm from Spanish Town and blah, 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 blah. But when they look at me, they don't know I am from Spanish Town or, you know, grew up grew up in the inner city or whatever, whatever. But I always tell them that don't look at me, you know, because how you look don't define where you're from is where mm. you are actually going and what you actually represent. I mean, you go Spanish stone everywhere, every time, anywhere we go. But me grow good and me come out a good belly, I'm a look good. But at the end of the day, I represent my culture and who I am as an authentic girl from Spanish stone. Me switch out, me switch, me change out, me the water, I dilute down that. Me carry that everywhere me go. So, mm. you know, Little, little people start realizing eh, it's not just a face, you know. She's, she's actually talented. So you have to prove yourself. Yeah, you have to prove to your bad. And then what was the difference between Spanish Town and Kingston? Spanish Town felt like home all the time. Even now, because I go to Spanish Town every day. My mom live over there. So people think say, I'm still living in Spanish Town. Actually, living in Kingston from I'm, from I'm 19. But I'm thinking I still live over there, which is fine. So did, did you ever do any town. adjusting? Like in terms of how Kingston people live or so? No, I'm just come and be myself. Just be myself. If they like me or not, we don't really care. But just be myself. I'm a fit in that anyway, uptown, downtown, all around town, because I'm that all woman. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Now, fast forward now, living uptown, bus, you have the place, right? Mm -hmm. The doctor. You and, mm -hmm. the, you and the doctor get entangled. How, how, how was that for, for your career? Like, how did that help your career? Or did, it, or did it do more bad than good? You know, somebody really come over to talk about him. Come over to talk about me. No, it, no this is a part of you. Trust me. It is. Yeah. 
Talk about him? Maybe. We're not talking about him, we're talking about right now, we're being a, union. We're being a doctor right now. We're not talking about him. That was something else. That's it. Hmm. We talk about that all the time. Yes, but, but man, we depend on a different platform now. I'm going to give them the bio. If it helped me? Yeah, oh, it helped me. So, but they're going to read the bio for themselves, though? Hmm? But they're going to read the bio for themselves. Well, you know what I would do now with that? With Mr. Sister, you know? And then, uh, you know, there's a lot of drama. Tell me about that. But, as I say, <sighs> damn if you do, damn if you don't. Mm -hmm. Um, Them people do them research and read the bio themselves. But, we don't even know if you talk about that, say. We don't know if you talk about that, say. So, I can't read my answer most of the time. I don't know if you talk the personal part of it. Today. All right, all right. Um. Honestly, did people feel it, like say, all right, she only get a look in now because I be. Mean. Remember, said they have downtown girl before. You understand? They have downtown girl before. Yeah, but no people have enough songs and then them, them go away. Yeah, I stayed. I never so, go away. So like, keep say, getting the hits. So that, um, you ever hear anybody the, say because I, I be in your why? Yeah, I mean, to some extent, people will say that and then I have to prove myself again. It's, it's always me proving myself over and over again. Because during that time, in, we did one man, which is still a big song. Mm -hmm. You understand? This is the angel alongside being there. But I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, I want man, we got. So that song is still a big song, still raining. Both of us still performing on stage. Because when it comes to music, I, 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 I don't have no, I'm, we call it word. I have no grudge towards music. When it comes down to music, mm -hmm. I'm going to just be fair. Um, no man is no grudge, no music is just music. No matter who, you understand? So I think with the whole thing with that, that, that part of my life, it, it has forced me to, be, to become stronger, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and that, that's why I, I got stronger in myself as a human being. And I actually sang, did a song called Stronger, which was one of my biggest songs to date. Mm -hmm. So that whole era of my life has definitely um, made me a stronger person because of what I got through. You understand? Yeah. No, I'm not, not, not sure. I got through hell and back, man. That's why I fight for my career. Because remember, I started it out by myself as a downtown girl in an uptown life. So I wouldn't let nobody um, take that away from me. So, so no matter what them try or no matter what go on, I still fight. I, so I, it, it, it allows me, um, J. Frost, to fight for everything, everything at all in music. I miss me if I fight for it to prove myself over and over again. Yeah, but how you stay so strong though? Because it's like, on top of it, at that time, you're pregnant, correct? Um, yes. Right, yes. you're pregnant. You're the it thing, yeah, the it relationship. Yeah. It's it's everywhere. Baby father, I drop out right? the vibes cartel. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. understand. Then you know, yeah, the bounty side right as well. The twins have twins and make this and that. Like how you stay strong mentally? Um, I never understood that it uh, be, like being a, a, a mega star as myself comes with all of those um situations. I I, I humbled myself because me have God na me. So when you have God na you, it, it hits different. Cause I grew up in a church. So I never understood a lot of things until now, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, I never, I never, I never, I never have the malice twins have twins because it's just music and entertainment. Mm -hmm. And you have to look at it like that. You can't be angry because of, you know, people use it to do different things and make fun. And it, it was, I was just there just, just analyzing and just, and just absorbing things and just growing, you know? So it's just growing pains, you know? Mm -hmm. Growing pains becomes blossoming to who I am today. Mm. And then after the, after the break, no, was that case where like you feel like you're shunned? Was there any of that? Like you know, I would not really mess with her, no, because we don't want um doctor say yo, oh we are do this and we don't want to lose that link. There was was there any of that? Like shunned from who? I don't know, like producers, studio yard. I say what you know, can't do a very honest and bossy go here mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. because I am a strong contender, mm -hmm. you know, so them couldn't get me out. Me had the music and. Me never, I never my crutches me use the music, me use my talent. So the producer never really locked the door upon me, you know, because I am that force to be reckoned with and my system is legitly, legitly talented. I mean, I put out good music. So at the end of the day, he couldn't lock the door upon me. No, I'm not saying, he you know, but you know, so sometimes, like for instance, let's say somebody violate me. Mm -hmm. Naturally, them other things say, I never violate him. I'm not saying, they don't know what's going on, but naturally, mm -hmm. them other say, I don't even know if Gio with me, you know, because Gio and Jay are closer than me and I. 
Your man well, has? I don't know, but so far I, I still managed to get um, several hit songs after that. We just keep going up to today, the no mm. worries, picky man. I mean, it's, it's just been non stop. Can't live a good like me with myself and you. It's, it just never stop. Um, talk about it, just never, you know, my career just never stopped going I, amidst the. I, we don't know if they were to fight me. Um, um, I, I, I don't know. I mean, but maybe it can be facts. You understand what mm. I say? But maybe them hypocritically I do it, but them not really coming on my face come tell me. Cause when you're when you keep going and when you you never stop, you never give up. Nobody can stop you unless you going to stop yourself. So them realize that this is a girl where it no matter what, she going to continue going. It no really matter where we are trying to do her. Because maybe they might do, you know. Because I look at things, fans say, e Angel, you don't get your glory, you're supposed to get your, you're bigger than that, and you're supposed to do this, or this, or this, or this, or. but God and timing. So I'm not worry about, oh, may I pierce my, oh, I'm being pierced. Because without a, it's like you have to have a, 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 a story to even, if you don't have a test, you don't have a testimony, you know. So I just yeah, look at life. Yeah. Yeah, you look at life like that. And the unity amongst the women in dance hall. Did you get any support in, in that time? No. Hello, man. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not one support. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nobody I at wish. all. No, no. And they must, they must have did afraid. And why do you think that is? I don't know. They must have did afraid. I answer women are, they don't support each other in music. We realize that. You understand what I'm saying? Even to this day. They don't support each other, but I'm not into that. I support, me support every female artist, period. That's why me and Spice could have come together and sing No Worries. And we tear away and fight and tear away and we still talk back. It shows a different maturity and unity. I'm all about unity and empowerment and strength. You never hear me this a female artist yet. But when I was going through my thing, maybe me never really have seized in it yet. If nobody got to take me side, because I'm not sure. Say, all right, then we're going to take our side and then we're going to lose friendship with a person. Yeah, mm -hmm. if we take our side, so make sure stay there and drone. And I tell her, say, me do, me go through it. You understand what I say? And me see me ya? See me ya? That's why it's hard for them to get me out. Hard. No matter what I do, I can't get out, Angel. Where came already? Who may I talk to? Yeah. No matter what I do, I can't get me out. No matter. Because me and God are trying. You see, bad man, you never know what they meet you for. Couldn't be metal and tired to look up his car. You want to take me space, eh? Won't be the star, cause nobody know, know who they are. If you can go far, me no watch face, cause I'm me and God apart. You are craving it, I am a Cuban cigar. From me born out of me mother and me foot touch the tar. Me no say me a real mega star. Cause it's a one girl holding steady. This a one girl holding firm. Can't get me out, so I will put ready. Be the angel take on the world. Mm. You actually sing. They say it there. You're a big star, man. Yeah, you actually sing. Big singer. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you sound, Thank yeah, you. Sound like you sound for real. Thank you. When well, they sound like a record, you're bad. Mm -hmm. Nobody can come in front of me with an auto tune voice. Go with that. You have a sound like a real record, your real self. Me are bad. I train, train for this a long time, Jay Frost. So they make the sense them try me. We go up on stage with the biggest and the baddest. And when it's show done, I will take it. Me, dance all baddest. Over and over again, it's there. It's, it, it's there. Google, search, YouTube. Me not lie. It's there. Question. All right, yeah, yeah, but it's the real thing because somebody did come talk to you. What name, yeah? Cargo. Him come talk it. Say, I'm not an easy person to perform after. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 it's just a build up in me. And it's like, I just always have that in my, in my brain. Say, so I have to do great. I can't fail. And then my song, them, I have the videos on YouTube. Everything out there. My songs, them, is sing along. When I touch stage, I sing along. So I get caught up in a, not the way I go on in the industry and who they must say or who they not say. You understand what I say? Music say me and me say music because I was born to do this. So question now, like what you can see how in them time they never really see, even to now there's no unity. When you see mm -hmm. like the Stark, Ashley's them, the Jada Kingdom, Shensi, Amayan, do you feel like it's an obligation for you now to reach out to them and give them a little guidance. Or you just say, you know, I'm gonna um, stay to myself. Me and all of them good, to be honest. And if I if I I've seen I've seen where um situations with Jada and I message her. Mm -hmm. You know, I tell her hold the faith, you know, stay strong, all of that. So if I see any female artist at all, whether the younger ones are the ones that are that are here with me with in the same era as me or before me going mm -hmm. through anything at all, I am quick to jump in the DM. I'm quick to jump in the inbox. Even Kizidan, you know, I she she's a social media um person um, yeah, on TikTok and 
she, she tried to look at music. I'm she's going through uh, um, Hill and Back, and I sent, I sent her a message, and she came on my live, and we had a chit chat. I'm like that. I'm empowered. I'm, I'm a person like this that empower. Because I wish that when I was going through my thing, another female artist with a name and a female recognition could hold me on and say, Angel, it's going to be all right. So I'm that girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me a time where you, I, you have a surreal moment where you ask your music really met me there. So like, whether it's somebody who know your music, whether it's a place where you go, and you have some people they will speak English or understand what is pato or what is dance mm -hmm. or they will just know you. Like, what is that moment for you? You know, that moment for me was when I did Stronger, to, to be honest. It's not even performing anywhere outside of my country or performing in my country and see how the fans love and respond to me. And sometimes people cry when I'm performing. But I think that moment, when I'm saying that I'm not going anywhere, this is for me, is when I did Stronger. When I did Stronger in 2008, I was going through the worst of my career. I, I, I not even knew how I would make it, but music saved me. And that's why I don't, in any bag of chattings, you know, I just use music. If I'm going through anything, I use music to get over it. You know, so then no matter what, you see, as, you see if somebody eat it tomorrow, and you come with a hit song today, they love you. Some of that music makes, makes a big difference, because that's what happened to me. Mm -hmm. People took side with me like crazy, and I used music to show them that this is what I'm doing. So it does a re in respect of what, if you don't like me, or if you take side with once me. Once the music good. Once the music good, they married to you. That's what I, that's what I realized. So let's continue the music. Mm -hmm. I have the music with message that makes sense and that has longevity. You know, no matter what I go on, me, I go steal the music that has substance because that's what I believe from my heart that will definitely make sense years and years to come. Yeah, Spice, you mentioned you and I kick off earlier. What was that kick off about? We don't want to get into it. We, we moved on as two grown people and we're good now. Yeah, because I, well, I think when going to see each other on station, just like just stop and just. Yeah, we just stop back, just like that because the universe, I say, a time no for the talk back. I was at Iram Awards. I was hosting the red carpet because most people not even know how it go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's the first time I'm actually All right, talking how it go. So we were on the red carpet. I'm, I'm hosting the celebrity red carpet. And um, she came on the carpet. It was her time. Everybody was like, Spice is coming now. And I said, all right. Because I, in my mind, I'm like, whenever I see her, I never talk to her. So that's, my intentions was clean and pure. And I just said, when I see her, I never talk. So she, she, she came on the red carpet not knowing that I'm interviewing her. She thought that I'm being interviewed. You know, mm -hmm. naturally because I'm an artist, so you don't expect an artist to interview you. But actually, I was the interviewer, interviewing her. So when, when the producer says, like, um, Spice, Spice, Spice is coming, Spice is coming, I braced myself and I, you know, conducted myself gracefully and I'm ready for her. And, and she was like, um, when Angel don't um, interview me, come. When Angel don't interview me, I said, I hear you. I am interviewing you. I am interviewing you. And then she bust out a laugh. I saw you go. And then she bust out a laugh and she walked, come to me, and then we just spoke just like that. I interviewed her. Everything was so natural and feels so good. And it was a really good vibe. And I went on stage and performed the song, Call Her Up. We performed the song together. So the union was great. And the world was waiting on that because they must say, we say, gotta deal with everything. Mm -hmm. So maybe everything that happened before. You know, it just shows that no matter what you're going through as females, especially as female artists, you can unite, you can forgive, and you can move on. Because it's all in the name of music. Because no worries. A big hit song. Yeah, no worries, bigger than me. Yeah, man. Actually, man big bigger than Tuawi. A big, big song that. Which rhythm? Uh, Zoom rhythm? Yeah. It's fresh, um, some of them. Um, um, money mix rhythm. Mm -hmm. Big up Zoom. My all time producer. Mm -hmm. And uh, Zoom them fight against me with me, you know. So, so you and Spice good now that you can call her right now. Yeah, man. Good. We should have a birthday okay. and thing. And we, we, we are a good man. Yeah, I'm just glad for that. I'm mean, I'm mean, I like to see the negativity and the war. Especially with music. females. Yes, yeah, because, because it's a main dominant um, genre. And then it's like, we don't mm. need for you unite more than ever. More me? than ever. When we did the Pink Rhythm um, with the Lamar Produce, I did um, talk about, I did give them something for talk about. What we not going to them draw me out. There's no more you and me. Let me know what are your nasty words. One of the fans' favorite. I'll be a bit, little baby, just wanna sing it. So it's, a, it's catchy. So we, it was an all female rhythm. And when I, sometimes when I enter the room with the other females, why you just step on phone, but it makes up not long. So I say, oh, go So it's like, I'm always a light. Mm -hmm. So the vibes never get free up until Angel walk into the room. And then look at me all the day, I know that fe females are the panic rhythm that they talk to each other. But me never know that. Word. 
But every time I tap in that room, it tense. But when I tap in, it just, it tension just free up. And people are laugh, people are talking, people are talking to each other. That's the kind of environment I like. I mean, like, not that we have tension in it, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's me. I always be that light in any room. You know what? I light up the room. I mean, I like female cantankerous confusion. I do not like it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so into the drama so I always bridge that gap. No. Mm. Who, who are some people where you can see your gig the angel, the, the, the help? Whether it's just advice, whether it's structure, whether it's just like just a, just, just a ear for you want to vent in the music industry. Then or no. You name it. I mean, because it's, it's always a situation. I've gotten support from women and, and people overall that listen, my family, um, friends, um, fans, that um, producers that we could have sit down and talk with. I said, how am I going to get through this? Arif Cooper was one of them, may soul rest in peace. So, Arif, what am I going to do with all this coming down on me? What am I going to do? What am I going to get over this? And he says, like, continue to do your music. He did Blaze. My girl, you are Blaze, Blaze. Mm -hmm. So he's the one who said, just never give up. Just continue doing your work. So he's, he was one of my mentors. And, um, and, I, and I mean, a lot of other, other, other persons that, when I hit rock bottom, they took up my music and they played it. They never want me to feel like me the worst. They, they, they continue to pump my music. I mean, DJs from different, different radio stations. I don't want to call one name and then leave out and the then leave, okay. And then people go get to them feelings. But, you know, I've, I've, I've gotten um, quite a number of support at the time when I was at my lowest point. So, you know, that made me feel like continue doing what you're doing, no matter what, you know? And then being a mother, did that change the way of the music? Like the certain things that when you sing about? I was a sing about good things. I was just singing more good things. And Marco didn't, when I gave, when I got, when I got pregnant with Marco Dean, I sang Baby Father with Vibe Scott. I gave birth to my life. Um, me and me was one of my wife. Once a wife, I was a wife. I'm up to them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> once a husband, I was a husband. I drew your attack. Once a wife. Me never you bought once a husband. Me, 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 me never you bought once a wife. I was a wife. Me never you bought once a husband. Remember, remember, remember only a king can make a queen. Oh, yeah, a queen can make see. a king. Remember that. Queen for life. <laughs> <laughs> Queen for life, cheers to that. So yeah, that you never, you never have any concerns or anything. When my son came in the world, it gave me that sense of responsibility as a mother to keep working harder. Mm -hmm. You know, come in music, them, I see him nice music, them sing catchy music, feel good music. You know, not change about my music. You know, but as you get older and grow, you know, grown and sexy, so you have all the right to. My son grew up and says his mother is an entertainer. The sexiest song I've ever, I've ever done in my life is almost now 8 million views, which is exposed. You know? And that came from a situation and I had to write about it. And now it's almost 8 million views. It's the sexiest song, sexiest video I've ever done in my life. But at the end of the day, my son growing up in entertainment, as a mother, as an as a entertainer, he knows that my job is my job separate and apart from me as his mother that comes home. Mm -hmm. You know, when we go on stage, it's entertainment. Music is just entertainment. So as a mother, it's a different cap, you know? And, and, and you, 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 have, a, you have like your sit-downs with him? Of course, all the time. Marco didn't, I mean, that's my best, that's, that's I mean, my he was, everything, he was, that's my world. Yeah, he was basically like the most famous child in Jamaica at one point. Like, and still. Yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah. He's up there. I, 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 up there. He's he really up there. He was coming there, he was like, Mommy, can I come? And I'm like, oh, Marco, I forgot. Be oh, late. How old is he now? Be late. He's 16. 16. I was 16. He's 16. Years old. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Very. But he's, he's, he's his own person, you know? Mm -hmm. He has his own identity. He's just doing film, film thing in his own time. You mean to music? Marco didn't can say. But I just don't know when he's going to be ready. He, he did a song, with, you know, me name Marco DJ. It's mm -hmm. the time of my life. With myself and uh, Billy. Time of my life when he was four, and he went to the studio, it was like, bam, Marco is so talented. But, you know, I'm just waiting for when he's ready. I'm tired, I said, Marco Dean, make sure to sing. Go up on the choir school, sing. The teacher never called me, I said, Marco Dean is the lead singer because he can sing, he has that vocal. Marco Dean, turn up, I clap. I said, look, oh boy, don't give me no trouble. I said, make sure so you go out the tree and listen. But it's, it's just all him when he's ready. Mm -hmm. Because Marco Dean has that name already. You know? So when, when Marco, Put out in first record. Me I forgot to be a mom major. A mom major. I mean, no, it's not going to start. That is it, guys. He's so loved and he's very talented. But he's humbled. He's very humble. That's how I grew my, grew my child. He's very humble. So whenever I'm ready, I have to support him in everything he does because I'm his biggest cheerleader, you know? 
I don't know. What's, what's, what, what you have promoting now? What's, what's out for DNG right now? Pick the man. Pick the man. It's, that's, that's actually my new track. I did, because I, I realized that with my career, I always have to, something reggae and something dancehall. So I have Pray for Love, where I'm praying for the nation. Because they know that I kill off a lot of women and children these mm -hmm. days. So we, we have something positive, shedding a positive light on that. But you know, so them buy into things with negative more than positive, right? But I'm about that positive person, you know, that lies at the end of the tunnel. So you have to keep that balance. Huh? So I have to keep that balance. I keep me molded and grounded. So Pray for Love is out. I think you all need to check it out. Um, I'm going to have Pick the Man. Um, keep it just to the remix. Um, it's a vibe, Pick the Man, because me love man, so I pick a man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the video is out as well. And I have a number of other things working on. I mean, just never stop. I'm an EP. Um, that is coming very soon, but we just never stop work. We just never stop work. No, I'm on tour in the US, so I'm back and forth. I'm leaving again, you know. So the world is calling. I'm gonna be there because I think that I have I, I have enough everything to to, to 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 take on the world now, the world stage, and that's what exactly I'm. That's exactly what I'm doing. You know, Kim, I'm just the, I'm just the, like, no, everything really come from foreign. Yeah, to be that foreign, no. <laughs> you feel it? Yeah. <laughs> At first, I heard that. Let's go for foreign. So no. Yes, and the first one, yes, somebody looked at me. They come from far. Yeah, for no, I'm really big though. Meaning like, but I get around some of the like foreign artists. Get around some of the young though. Oh, for real? So, I don't know. Yeah, I see him look up. What do you want to compete with me? I said, I'm thinking they come. I'm thinking they're foreign artists. I'm like, okay. Yeah, you have a foreign thing about you, you know. Thank you. Look who do you know? You come from Spanish town. Spanish town. Oh my God. <laughs> Spanish town. Good people. Good people come from Spanish town and so talent. Again, so good people. Come <laughs> from Spanish town and talent. Yeah, Chronics, man. And I wave the banner for Spanish town everywhere I go, you know? Not because I am, you know, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm just like so, you know, so I have that little finesse and that little, you know. But I want me grow. My mother grow me good, you know, and grow me nice. So that's all me nice. So, But we balance anyway. We can go sit down downtown from the roadside and we can go in the parliament, you know? Yeah. So we balance. What about, what about like body of work? We can't expect an EP soon. Mm, I'll just tell you. I just tell you some EPs in the works. You know, I have some great producers on it. Um, I have Muffy, Black Sheep, and I have Zoom. And I have a song with myself and Mr. Vegas. That's very interesting. A uh, number of other music on it. Jamaican artists, them don't support each other. You know, I can tell you that. Because me quick fit support artists in Jamaica. Big up Kiprich, because when I sent him the remix, he never even itched the song, picked the man. He just sent back the song, the, 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 the verse the next day. But working on an EP as such, and um, there's sometimes... Some songs in there, we sound like an next artist will be a part of it. When I reached out, I have all kinds of other things I do. And at the end mm -hmm. of the day, that's how we music got to grow. But if a foreign artist is reach out to them, they would have quickly frightened. They would have frightened. They would have frightened. They would have nothing to do. And when they reach out to me, I'm happy to jump on. You know, but when we reach out to them as a girl, a PR dude, bad artist, talented artist, you should be honored to support me and what I'm doing because I would support you, which is I always do. So that is what is matching, matching up our music. We don't support each other as artists. We do not. We support foreign and everywhere else are foreign, mm -hmm. except we support we each other. Yeah, say something, you know. Jeez, um, me care about that. Some of the DJs, them. them My are... radio? Overall. Boy, I don't even know if it's about that. We tell you the truth. I never know. Because when you're in a party, they may not come say it on the show, but they will say, if you're not there at the party, you're not going to play. I will there at the party, something you're not going to play. They may play where they want to play, they may play where they get money pull up, they may play them in other something there. And who, and who, and who they may play? I'm not going to say them at the party. Them, them now, go, who support them the most, they don't give them the support. I can tell you that. You know? So you come like say, a dog, I'm a dog. But you still have to just do you. You can't make the industry change, you know? Because if you follow the industry, I eat everybody. But I still have to be you, me. I still have to be me. Mm -hmm. You know? I still have to be the downtown girl in the uptown life. I can't change because purpose purposes on me and nobody can stop me. You understand? Because enough of them where you sit today, tomorrow you're not going to see them. So I'm there for the long haul. I'm there till I'm 100 and so. 100 and odd and so. I'm there to see me. What are some young artists right now you like to work with? Or, or you see them and you see them are going good? We, 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 like, we, like, we like when the veterans them say, oh, you know, we'll see her, we'll see him. Continue, don't stop. Mr. Wooly we'll for them. I be I'm close with um Katik. I mean you that. Um cause well, in, the, in the yeah. Because mm -hmm. in the Pana positive mission. I love him songs them, it, it's inspiring. Um me, me, me see everybody man, but um somebody somebody crazy, but we realize say, that's just how it is and sometimes it's and it's acceptable because people 
have different mood swings and they, they, they react to different kind of music. So every music right now, when we see I, I go on, I embrace everything, I embrace every artist. And I'm, but I'm strong on artists that can perform. Mm -hmm. And so the same way on record. When them they on stage, I'm and, big on that. And nobody right now. Of course, talk. a lot. We don't oh. <laughs> a lot. Give us some. Have no, Give us some. Only part about all them own man. We don't. <laughs> only part about all them own. Um, I. Give me one. I like a number of artists. Um, I can tell you. I like a number of artists. Valiant is, I think, not because he's now and he's doing on it, doing his thing. Valiant mm -hmm. is, is uh, how he writes his music. He, 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 he I think, you know. Um, you have Skeng, on the other hand, that's like a, a, a rock star. Him from Spanish Town too. Mm -hmm. So we have to big him up. Um, I'm also an artist, Jada. I mean, she, 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 her sound is different and her, her, how she writes her music, it embodies what she's about, you know? So, because I listen, I've, I've been following her transition and she's a number of artists. Who again, who again, who again. Um, I like Masika too. Mm -hmm. You know, my Masika always in, 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 in talks. And, um, we may do something together, but I mean, they might do them thing, man. So, oh, we, so we embrace them and, and everything and give them the love same way. But me, I listen to Tatic right now in my music. I'm an <laughs> artist, man. The more that things they have done, I'm like, oh, I'm excited about me. Like, what the fuck's up, man? Bad artist, man. Yeah. So, I'm me, I listen right now. Well, the Angel, thank you for coming out and for sharing. Even though there's something she never did really want to talk about. Yeah, but, but, Apartheid. You know, yeah. we've been at our three family. From there, Jerusalem was a happy home. Yeah, and true. the people them believe what they want to believe. Buy with them, sell work. So it's like, no matter what you say, it does not change the price. It does not mm -hmm. change the price. It does not matter what you say. So, you know, they have if you do, they have if you don't. But just give thanks to who been supportive of my music. It's all about, that's why I'm here, just mm -hmm. for music. So you don't have to like me personally. But if you're going through something, you're going to hold on to an angel song, you're going to listen to it. And it's all about that. So I am on that mission of great music and just continuing my journey and just reaching that level as a musician, as an artist. Me, yeah. So as a and person, that is your purpose. That is my purpose. And I'm going to fulfill it. And I have a dream and me I go for it. I mean, I'll stop until it get there. And so if you have a little Eva into that drive that I have, then you'll be a better person. Instead of sitting down, sitting down and criticizing and watching, have some drive, you know, Think about what you want in your life and go for it. Because that's what I do. That's what I do. Where can I find you? Um, yeah, you can find me on Instagram, The Angel Music, one word, social media. All my social media platforms is just The Angel Music. Vivo, The Angel Vivo. Run over them and I show them the day. When I show like everything they did to prove what's going on. And you can listen to my music through my The Angel Vivo platform, YouTube. Yeah. So that's right there. So bookings, everything the same place. So. I'm not hard to find, I'm easy to find, I'm not hard to find. Some artists can't find them. Mm -hmm. Me, all. me can't find. You understand? So they can't tell me nothing why, why I'm not this, 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 why I'